Warning, this channel and all games played are intended for a mature audience. If you are under the age of 13, you need to leave this channel now. Also, Redbeard is a total and you wouldn't like him anyway. If you are easily offended, you might as well get the hell out of here also. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday, so we're going to see what's going on with Red Dead Online for the weekly update or weekly changes, whatever you want to say, more tunable type stuff. So we're going to go real quick and first thing you know, you have the Madame Nazar collection and let's take a look at that real quick. Pretty basic and simple. It's a gemstone collection, topaz ring, garnet earrings, and jade hairpin. And Rockstar actually put this out pretty late. I was expecting maybe they'll surprise us with an update or something. Usually they do this about four o'clock in the morning for me. Uh, but this just came out maybe about 45 minutes ago, maybe in an hour. Uh, so let's just finish looking at what else they did. Uh, if you go to showdowns, this is kind of cool at least. Uh, go to quick join. Uh, for takeover shootout featured elimination race, uh, you have double XP and money. Uh, so that's pretty cool actually. And the feature series is Team Gun Rush as well. And if you pull up your catalog, you'll see the limited stock stuff from last week is still here. It was supposed to go to May 11th, so we already knew that. But there is a discount on the pants. Uh, it's a pretty good discount. Some of them are like $130 or down to $38. Um, and then also you have a discount. Let's see right here. We have discount on hats as well. And these are also pretty good. Some of these are limited stock ones, but they're pretty cheap actually. So if there's any hats you've been wanting, like this one's $96, it's down to $38. Uh, the Stuart top hat and the Expedition hat from Madame Mazar is also on sale as well. And then if you head over to your camp, there's some more discounts this week at your camp as well. Last week I know there was, uh, but let's just go look at Wilderness Outfitters and you'll see right here, pretty much every single thing at your camp is on sale. Uh, of course, except for the husky dog. It's every time they always leave the dog out. So, uh, but every everything else uh, is pretty good discounts on everything else at your camp. But yeah, guys, that is all we had this week. I couldn't find anything else, and I've really waited for Rockstar to release the newswire. And it is almost noon my time. Usually about eleven o'clock at the latest is when they put it out during my uh, time zone. But it doesn't look like we're going to get one. If of course, as always, if anything's good newsworthy about of update, I'll actually put another video out for it. I won't put a video just for it. And speaking of just putting out little things here and there, there's actually something that came out yesterday. It's already out there, but I figured I'd share it in case some other people didn't see it. There was four different ability cards. Now these ability cards were, I guess people are saying they're leaked. Now uh, this was actually shared. The first two are actually from Tez Fun too on Twitter. And the other two, a lot of people shared it. So I can't find the original person. I'm just not, of course, not gonna take credit that I found it, but I can't find out who the original person is. So the first two on the left is what the Tez Fun had and it is Person of Conviction and Internal Flame. Uh, the first one, of course, is a Dead Eye card and the second one is a Combat card. Uh, we don't know what they do or nothing. And then the ones you'll see on the right hand side, the two small ones in the middle. Sorry for the resolution. They're just small images. There weren't uh, great quality ones found. The first two on the left were found in game files. Now they could be abandoned cards or maybe something that they put in that they just haven't used yet. Uh, but the ones on the right, we can't see what the names are, but they're definitely a recovery card, which is a green one, and another combat card, which is the yellow one. The green one has like two cherub angels uh, flying around a guy with like a ribbon wrapped around him with his arms crossed. And the other one's got a guy with a top hat tilted and his face is all melted. So not sure what that's about, but I wanted to share that with some people just in case you guys haven't seen it. Like I said, it's not brand new kind of news. It was out yesterday. But I don't like doing just little tiny little videos and just dragging them out to 10 minutes, but I figured I'd just throw that in with this uh, weekly video. And also yesterday too, only on PC, there was a 925 megabyte patch. Basically it's just game functionality, you know, making the game more stable and making some of the smoke and different things for the train and stuff like that. I guess that was disappearing. I have the PC version, I just haven't played it in months actually, because both of them haven't been working well. So I figured why well, play two different games that were kind of broken, but. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to keep you guys up to date. Try to keep the videos short when there's not really much going on. But if you want to stay up to date with Red Dead Online and anything that's coming up in the future with it, uh, make sure to go ahead and hit that sub button and bell notification. Also, if you'll do me another favor, just make sure to give the video a like and maybe even share it with your friends. And guys, as always, I'll keep you guys updated and I'll catch you guys next time in the next video.